Coming up, we're going to take a look at a game from someone within the audience. We're going to give them harsh, brutal feedback to help improve that very game. Stay tuned. What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.com, the place you go when you want action-packed content in the app business. I run an app marketing agency that's really going to help you with ASO, Apple features, different growth hacks, and help you kind of think through what the right strategy should be for your app. In this video, I got an email from somebody in the audience who wanted my feedback on his new game. So we're actually going to play his game and I'm going to give you feedback and also talk about what you should be thinking about when you're coming up with different game ideas. I talk to a lot of people who show me their games and there are tiny little elements that are missing that you need because casual games are so hard to get right and the smallest things can make a humongous difference. So let's get into the game. All right guys, so the game is called poolball.io. So it was inspired by Bumper.io, which I will play in a little bit as well. So give you a little bit of a side-by-side -side comparison of the two games. All right, so let's start. All right, press play. So I get to drive hint and you can knock out. I don't know what this figure eight means, but the object of, his, of the game is for me to bump these guys into these holes, these pool table ho holes, and get them off. All right, so it's pretty simple. I'm trying to do one. There you go, King, get, get out of here. All right, King is gone. There, the one went through the hole. You see that? And I got one kill. Let's see if I can get one more. Boom, boom. Let's see if I can get this little guy. Boom. He's gone. Okay, two kills, so I did get him all. All right, so simple game. Easy to command, easy to get. Boom, I died. Now let's get into bumper.io, which was inspired, which was the game that inspired the previous game that you saw. So I'm gonna go, change colors here. I'm gonna hit play and drag to move. So again, like, you know, as you can see, it pretty much copied the, the main element. But if you see bumper.io, when I first played this game, I was like, wow, this is, there's no, there's an obvious reason why it's, really done well so i don't know what these stars are boom. boom got one. Oh, i got bigger because i did it i killed them Damn. as you see these games side by side what i really love about bumper.io is that it's a very circular playing field and so you feel like you're gonna die that feeling that you might end up dying is really there. Whereas versus pool.io, it's just bumper.io on a pool table. And I don't think that's enough, right? A lot of times we, we get inspired by these top charting games and we think, oh, I wanna do something similar and just make one little change to it. When you can't do that, you gotta really bring in other factors into the game. And if I could summarize bumper.io, well, I would say it's sumo wrestling meets slither.io meets bumper cars. They're combining various elements of the three different concepts into one different game, whereas pool.io was just pulling the same exact concept from bumper.io and changing the actual playing field, which isn't enough because bumper.io already has all the users and can easily create that. And plus with the pool table, we don't feel that emergency. We don't feel that need that we're actually gonna die. If you think about all the big casual games, such as Crossy Road, Color Switch, Flappy Bird, and I'm sure Flappy Bird started this craze where it's this element of immediate death almost. Like you're gonna die, you're gonna lose, game over really soon. And in my interview with the Crossy Road creator, Matthew Hall, but he wanted to combine elements of Flappy Bird and make sure that there was this fear that you may lose on that first try. And with pool.io, that element was very missing from it. So to summarize, what I have to say is when you think about these ideas and you're starting to play these different games, bring different elements from a lot of different things. Don't just think of this feature and then say, oh, but for this. 
It's too simple. People are going to get it right away. And they're not going to love it like the original version because the original version had a ton more thought into it than just saying, hey, it's just like this, but on a different board. So really think through and how you can combine different elements that are already in play and bring it in to one app. All right, guys, hope you like this video. If you're enjoying these type of videos, make sure you hit like and leave a comment below. I know this is something that you guys wanted to see me do more of were these game audits. So if you got a game that you want me to audit or an app that you want me to audit, leave a comment below and I'll take a look and I'll give you some of my suggestions as well. And I'll see you on the next video. See ya. If you want to check out a video on how to actually reskin apps successfully, well, check out the top video and make sure you check out our previous video about how to increase retention for casual games by using the link below at the bottom video.